office there. We were looking at some things, and the short yardage situation I thought uh, was very positive for us offensively. Good execution, and um, got out of it what we want to get out of it. As far as Corey playing at Darren's Sports, Corey came on last year as a third down back. That's what Darren's historically done well. How do you find time for both of them in that role? In what role is that, Zach? In the third, the third down role? I think, uh, you know, Deuce did a tremendous job managing that room and that position throughout the course of the season, no matter, um, you know, who was active or who was on injured reserve. Um, and not only that, just developing the players. And Corey's a great example of that. So I think you'll see us be that kind of versatile and use everybody's skills in that room this year. I like the way they're working. Um, you know, they're, they're paying attention to the details, and uh, we're mixing and matching the groups a little bit right now. And um, you know, in the second week of camp, the guys are working hard and trying to get a little bit better each and every day. Have you seen anyone from last year really make a big jump? Um, I, I would say that they're all working really well. Um, I think they're all getting a little bit uh, better each and every day, more and more comfortable with the things that we're adding. Uh, in terms of our installation, our offensive system. So um, we just kind of continue to see improvement and see how they perform in the games. Mike, one guy who struggled during the preseason last year was Donnell Pumper, who was a fairly high dread choice. He was, he was an IR. What do you see out of him? I think he's done a great job of putting himself in a position to compete for a roster spot, um, just like all those guys. I mean, he knows it's a competitive room, and um, he's trained hard and showed up, and he's making plays when the opportunities come. But Again, all those guys are doing really well and uh, will be evaluated throughout the course of the preseason. What have you seen out of uh, Josh Perkins and Billy Brown so far through camp? It seems like they've gotten a lot of looks. Yeah, I mean, we're rotating the groups, and they're getting the, uh, a lot of reps with the twos and the threes right now, and uh, both those guys have done a nice job. What's the value for this new speed, knowing he has that role as opposed to last year when he was back up this time? Knowing that he's uh, starting, starting at left guard. Well, I mean, Wiz is a tremendously smart football player, high football uh, IQ, and um, does a great job of, uh, I think, playing next to Kelsey and, and Peter Zervi, whoever's there at left tackle next to him. And not only that, you know, he plugs in at center uh, and helps us there when, when uh, the occasion arises. So, uh, like we talked about last week, I mean, the more you can do, the more valuable you are. And a veteran presence, a guy who knows the system uh, in and out and can anticipate. Uh, he does a really good job of anticipating and, and asking great questions and, and making sure we're on each and every detail. Mike, how impressed are you with the progress of Jason Peters at this point and how limited is he or, or how not limited is he? Well, he's doing everything that we're asking him to do. And, um, you know, he's just a freak athlete um, to be the age he is and played as long as he had. Um, without the injury, I think we'd be managing him in training camp. So I think it's a non-issue right now. What does uh, Peters do behind the scenes, whether it's talking to coaches or teammates that, that we might not see that really adds value to you guys? Well, I know he's a DJ on bus three. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps the mojo good on bus three. <laughs> we weren't expecting it. <laughs> Mike, in the same category as Peters is a potential Hall of Famer, is Darren Sproles. Does he look Almost all the way back. I say I say he looks equally as quick as I ever saw him at any point last year. Um, you know, my limited time with him before the injury, uh, he looks like he's got every bit of his speed and quickness back. It's a good question. Look at certain traits of certain players and make sure the defense is not tipped off to what you're going to do by the personnel package. Yeah, that's an excellent question. Um, that, that, you know, is a challenge for us as coaches to make sure that we're, you know, doing our quality control work um, so that we're not giving the defense something based on who's in the game. And again, um, you know, our entire offensive staff. Uh, um, I thought did a really good job of, of being mindful of that each and every week, and that's something that we check, and we're even checking here in training camp um, to make sure that you know by personnel formation that we're not giving anything away. What kind of camp is I think Nate's done a nice job. I really do. I mean, uh, we had a little miscommunication there on that last throw and in, in, uh, in that move the ball period. So it's just one of those deals that you know that's why we're out here practicing. Uh, I don't think it's anybody's fault. It's a good good opportunity to teach off of it and go back and watch a tape. But um, Nate's extremely bright and, uh, you know, 
obviously when he got his opportunity to play last year, he showed up big time and played really well for us. So uh, we're, we're really happy that he's here. He's definitely a confident young man, absolutely, and uh, I say this all the time. I mean, confidence is a result of demonstrated performance, and uh, and his only opportunity, he obviously performed at a very high level, so he should be very confident in the way that he's capable of playing, and um, obviously this year going through his first training camp here in Philadelphia and uh, really getting comfortable in the system and around the players, and, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that guys just like to be around. He loves ball, and he's always throwing the ball, so, um, you know, he's easy to be around from that standpoint and does a great job of communicating in the huddle. Carson in there for a little bit, Carson comes out. Is that challenging as you're trying to install the offense and kind of get your feet on the ground as well? I wouldn't term it as challenging. I think that's just part of uh, football, whether it's life in the NFL or uh, anywhere else that I've been, you know, I've been a part of a lot of quarterback competitions. Not to say that this is a competition, but um, the fact that you're trying to get equal reps for everybody. And at this early stage of camp, uh, quite frankly, we'd probably be doing the same thing anyway. Really, really dividing the reps up as evenly as we could so that, um, you know, the accumulation of reps hopefully pays dividends down the road. Mike, uh, with Nate Sudfeld, you didn't have a chance uh, last year with preseason to watch him in games. How big are the preseason games going to be? Well, I mean, we got to see him in a regular season game. So I think we got a, a pretty good idea of what he is. And um, obviously, we really like what he can be. Um, we still think he's got, you know, a high ceiling and, and the ability to improve. So um, every time we go out there and play in the stadium in front of people is an opportunity for all of us um, to improve and, and to get better. And I know that that will be the same thing for Nate. And uh, he's excited about the opportunity. We're excited to see him out there with those guys. I think it's too early to say exactly, but obviously we like Dallas's skill set. That's why we picked him second. And, uh, you know, he's done a really nice job of simulating himself. And um, it's us, up to us as we go along throughout the preseason. And we still haven't played any games. Um, Got to get out there and play some games against some new people. Um, but at this stage, uh, I think he's right where he needs to be. And uh, we all know what Zach is. I mean, he's one of the best tight ends in the game. And uh, obviously a weapon for us. So we got to continue to try to find ways to get him the ball. How's camp been for you as offensive coordinator? How's it different from how you've kind of processed and everything in the past? Well, from an organizational standpoint, you know, just uh, fine tuning little things uh, to make sure that when we come out here to practice, the practice runs smoothly um, and not getting to spend as much time uh, teaching. Uh, you know, having my own group of guys each and every day and getting in the lab with those guys, but try to walk, uh, you know, around and, and see everybody, obviously study tape and, and everybody and um, be involved that way. Calling in the plays during practice? Yes. So what's that for you? Uh, double right, you know. Yeah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Are you picking the plays or is that still coming? Well, we, we divide the scripts up, but, you know, I do a majority of the scripts. So we work off a script and then call them in off the script and then and I move the ball period, which is a live call period. Then I'm, I'm calling those plays. Yeah, it's unscripted. So I'm obviously didn't go well today. The other day, a little bit better. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Place go. Thank you.